Obviously, you like to um, sweep at home. We always talk about that and everything. But listen, we're not a very good team at home right now. We don't pitch it well enough right now to play at our field where when it's usually a more of an offensive field and everything. So that's a little bit um, frustrating. But listen, you got to give UTPB credit. Um, uh, that coach, uh, he's a new coach. Coach Grinder has done a phenomenal job with them down there. They're competitive every game. And really, they had a chance to win a couple games at our place. And that's what I do like about our team right now. Listen, we are finding ways to win the close games. Um, I think we've played in ugh, seven, eight, nine, one or two run ball games. And we've done really well in those games. I mean, game two was a extra inning affair that uh, I think we won in, uh, what was it, 10 to nine or something. So again, we are finding ways to win the close ball games. And that's something we, we pride ourselves on. We talk a lot about and everything. We want to play low scoring um, one or two run ball games because that's uh, uh, what we practice a lot and everything. So it, these uh, high scoring affairs, um, it's not necessarily what we want, but um, right now we're playing a lot of those right now. So. Speaking, speaking of which, I mean, that, that second game, Joe uh, had that uh, walk-off single, yep. I believe, yep. uh, to kind of win it there. I believe last week, Coach was saying that short kind of plays uh, were something you guys were worried about heading into the season, and now it looks like those aren't so bad. Can you speak on that and kind of how that last play came to fruition to help you out on that ball game? Yeah, listen, Ochoa came up huge. I mean, he's a guy that um, – you know, really, we didn't start him game one or game two. He came in off the bench uh, there in game two and came up with a big hit for us. And uh, shortstop's one of those things where Ochoa struggled a little bit offensively early on, and so we tried to make some adjustments there and went with a, a 60-year guy, Kicks Farrell, out of Memphis, Texas, and who's just kind of played himself and worked himself into a pretty solid little player. And he did a really good job, and that's kind of one of those things. where. And then in game four, you saw we went to Mike Mineta at shortstop. Um, just because uh, Ochoa was kind of dealing with some stuff. Um, you know, so it is one of those things where, listen, we, we're going to run some different guys out there. I mean, you saw Corey Schmidt caught his first game uh, behind the plate in game four, did a phenomenal job for us. So we're trying some different things. And, uh, listen, at the, at the end of the day, I think we're 19-7 and seven right now, and a lot of teams would like that record. We're not excited about it. Um, I think this team's better than that. But um, hopefully we'll continue to get a little bit better every week and uh, be really good at the end of the year because I do think this team has been tested a bunch this year, uh, and that's sometimes a good thing. I mean, we've shown some that we can win close ball games, and when you get in, if we make it into postseason, all that kind of stuff. If uh, you're you know how to play in those games, usually you're pretty successful in postseason. Speaking of which, I mean, following that second game, it was a doubleheader. Do you feel like they were just a little worn out going into that third game, or? I hope not, because that's not very good coaching on our end. Um, I just felt like we came out flat again, and game threes have been tough for us. Um, double headers are tough, but listen, at the end of the day, um, you know, I, you know, Douglas on the mound wasn't very good. Um, you know, Isaac wasn't very good in game two. That killed our bullpen, and you know, our bullpen did a phenomenal job in game two. Um, you know, Isaac or uh, uh, Reese Miller came in, and then Tyler Cornett came in and did a phenomenal job. So that really hurt us going into game three, where we couldn't make those adjustments, and then Douglas didn't give us a great start. Um, you know, so we really had to throw a lot of guys. Uh, that we really did not want to have to throw that early in the series and stuff. So that really hurt us in game three. And then offensively, we just didn't do a very good job of of, of swinging the bat with the wind blowing in a little bit and executing and, and doing the small ball type stuff that uh, we're accustomed to doing. But, you know, I give Isaac credit. Uh, he came back in game four uh, and was phenomenal for us. He kind of uh, both him and Douglas uh, kind of lit into them a little bit after the games and everything. And Isaac uh, performed well for us on Sunday, so I'm hoping that will carry on to next week. They're a phenomenal team. Uh, they really are They're at the top of the conference. Uh, great facilities, great place to go and play. Uh, it's a lot of fun there. And, I mean, they'll be competitive, really good on the mound. Uh, they're really good offensively. they got a couple bats uh, that are scary, and we've got to do a really good job of pitching this weekend. And luckily, I mean, we've been better on the road pitching than at home, so hopefully that will carry on to this week.